reason I think that I use songs, there's lots of reasons, but um, they're in incredibly short, uh, which generally speaking, which makes them really useful for the classroom situation. And I think it's amazing how much you can do with, with, with the, the little text that there often is in songs. So, so even if it's just something simple like a warmer, but I also think you can, thematically, they're really interesting. I mean, what more interesting way is there to introduce a theme than, than to use a song to do it? They're motivational. Um, yeah, I mean, all the language skills you can think of, you know, not obviously not in every one song, but, you know, over, over a bunch of different songs. It's very important also to use, um, not, not to necessarily use songs that you like, um, but, but to use the song on its own merits. So I'm not a particular big fan of uh, Katy Perry, but um, her song Raw has a lot to say, and, and I've made a, um, a large lesson plan on it. It has a lot to say about the um, position of women and everything like that, um, which is very relatable to a lot of issues nowadays. That's what I've tried to explore lately. I've tried to explore um, using all the language skills, so reading, writing, speaking, listening, but also, you know, vocabulary, grammar, pronunciation, multi-skill activities. That over, when you do over a range of songs, then you can include all of those things, you know, if they're well chosen, if you know the song and understand the song. My advice would be definitely very much take your time with it. Um, and, and my advice would start off with a don't. Don't just resort to doing a gap fill. Pedagogically problematic. Um, the advice would be to get to know the song and not to follow a set formula, um, to take every different song um, on its own merits. Um, and that means understanding the song. That means, and, and, and looking at what you think comes out from it and, and thinking of your students' needs.